Hey there, listeners, friends, fans, and foes. It's Jerry with Amazing Grace Radio. The Amazing Grace is obviously from Jesus, Jehovah Yahweh. Um, I wanted to say hello because I felt like God wanted me to share something that happened to me. And I felt like it was an analogy of what happens when we don't feed our spirit. So I had this beautiful little office plant that was given to me for a Happy Administrative Professionals Day in 2021. And I definitely don't have a green thumb. In fact, I have a black thumb usually <laughs> um, in terms of plant life growing around me, that is. So anyway, this lovely plant um, was able to survive uh, like days on end without being watered. Like for example, like I would water it once a week. And if I would forget to water it for like a week and a half or whatever, it would wilt. And then I would immediately put water in it and it would sprout once again. And I always put a little thing in my calendar to make sure that I watered it once a week. But the best thing to do is to have watered it every day. And I say it past tense because after a year and a half, or close to a year and a half, I found the poor thing dead. And it did not survive after two weeks of no water. And I I put a bunch of water in it thinking that it would sprout back to life once again. Um, and, and usually I would, if I had one of those time-lapse cameras on it, it would sprout back to life in vibrancy and, and greenery within I would say like six to eight hours, but this time it was dead, deader than a doornail. It was wilted, it was dead. And I really felt like the Holy Spirit was saying to me, look, Jerry, this is what happens when you don't feed your spirit. If you don't feed your spirit daily, and I should have given it water every day, a little bit of water every day. So if I would have done that, it would not have died for sure. At least I should have watered it once a week, but I forgot and two weeks had lapsed and it, it had kicked the bucket and it's little plant soul. I'm just kidding. A little, little plant just died. I don't think they have souls, but anyway, um, it's plantness just kaput. Just here lies Juanita, the little office plant, rest in peace. Anyway, so I just, again, felt the Lord really say to me that this is what happens when we don't feed our spirit. Uh, we die spiritually. And, and yes, we could go, you know, a few hours or days or even weeks without prayer, but one dies spiritually every succeeding, every moment that passes by where we don't commune with the Lord, when we don't read the word or pray uh, or fellowship with other people at church or home church or whatever. Uh, we So every decision that we make, both small and great and in between, either f feeds our spiritual person or our spirit man or spirit woman. Uh, I say that meaning that we have a, a spirit inside our being. And if you're born again and receive Jesus into your into your heart as your Lord and Savior, believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. If you received him as your Lord and Savior and repented of your sins, you're born again. And so if you feed your spirit, then you become spiritually stronger. And that's with every decision and every choice. But if you don't feed your spirit, man or woman, then then you die spiritually. And, and yes, you could go a little while not feeding your spirit and you might be anemic, uh, spiritually speaking, but then you could feed yourself on the word of God again and praying again. But God doesn't want us to sporadically feed our spirits. He wants us to feed our spirits daily by communing with him, by pouring out our hearts to him, by having a personal relationship with him. And that's how we grow and flourish uh, every day. So kind of like watering the plant every day is like praying every day. And in fact, I try to pray every moment that I can throughout the day, even though I have a life, I have a job and have a husband and have a lot going on. Uh, we can still have a prayer life. Um, I try to pray in the morning throughout the day, the evening with my hubby. Anyhow, I just really wanted to share that. I was really sad when I found out the plant just died um, because I forgot to give it water after two weeks or so. 
and it just so even though it like again would sprout back up after a week of not having water it just could not survive two weeks without water and um so i guess the best thing just that god wanted to show me and show everybody is that that rather than you know times of sporadic feeding oneself spiritually um it's best to make sure that every day is spent feeding oneself spiritually anyway you get the point so anyhow i just wanted to share that with you and i hope that you have a blessed day or evening and i'm praying for you and drop me a line if you want to share anything any prayer requests or anything any thoughts about any of our shows so i'm on amazing grace radio by myself or with michael basham of spirit wars we have our joint show called strange o'clock podcast where we talk about strange news from a christian perspective and i'm jerry signing off god bless you take care bye